Okay, this is my fifth attempt to make this video, so we'll see how this goes. I was considering that my personality was pretty high maintenance. I do, it doesn't take much money to keep me going, but it takes uh, quite a lot of uh, friendship and kindness and attention and listening to keep me going. So I have a pretty, <laughs> I have a pretty big group of people that keeps me glued together, for which I'm eternally grateful. But right before I started this video, I realized that the Savior had a group of people around him as well. And if the Savior needed, I just shouldn't say he needed, but if he had a, a dozen people, a dozen close guy friends um, with him, then maybe I shouldn't feel bad about needing a, a large group for support. Um, I think that we have a very, um, I think we have a very tight knit connection with people who share our religious values and that doesn't mean we have to be the same religion but people that share our religious values and in my situation my circumstance I consider the people that I have that connection with to be um, connected to me in a very tight very intimate way and I have been extremely close to some of the same people for more than 30 more than 30 years, a good long time, I've been connected with some of the same people, and it's just a tr treasure of eternity to have, treasure of eternity to have that blessing in my life. So I wanted to talk just a little bit about what that, um, that kinship in Christ is, at least from my viewpoint, my uh, standpoint. That is... I keep thinking about the scripture where the Savior tells us to be not troubled and neither, how's that go? I'm probably not going to be able to quote it now, be not troubled, neither should we be afraid or whatever, um, that he, the Savior's overcome the world. In this world you shall have, you shall have tribulation, but in me you shall have peace or something like that. You know, fear not, I have overcome the world. That's a very loose... <laughs> It's just from memory. I haven't looked it up in a long time. But anyways, that we should um, not be troubled, be of good cheer, that we should be of good cheer and not be troubled or be afraid. And I think the thing that really keeps me peaceful in that regard is the fact it's got to do it's got to do with this whole preparedness thing really for me. Um, it's, it doesn't being more prepared does not make me less reliant upon a Savior, but it just gives me more peace because I feel this kinship, this, I feel knitly tight together, knit tightly, <laughs> tightly knit together, and it doesn't have to be with just Mormon people, it doesn't have to be with just Latter-day Saint people, but people of all faiths. Um, I think that we feel that we uh, are being prudent and wise to try to prepare supplies and try to, to um, practice the skills and practi practice the, um, oh, I can't think of another word, but practice you know, to walk the steps, walk through the steps that we would have to walk through if we, if our resources were somewhat limited. Now that I've talked myself in a big circle of painting myself in a corner, let's see where I can go with this. My part of my hope in Christ is that if we live in times that will be deteriorating and <laughs> the stuff that you watch on the news about the financial house of cards that we're uh, experiencing right now have been for quite some time could stay glued together and then then again it may not but that whole um, that whole financial this is the wrong time of day for me to be making a video I'm sorry the whole financial quandary that we find ourselves in. I just have a lot of peace in feeling like people of faith can can um, pull together and the whole preparedness community, which is the whole 90% of the reason that I do this channel, is to um, you know get information spread, not just from me to other people, but amongst other people to, to pull together all of your experiences so that we can learn about these things because we will probably be pulling together in some fashion at some point in time in the future. None of us can tell when, how, where those things will transpire. But I feel a real connection with the people who are um, 
signed up on this channel and other preparedness channels on the YouTube and people who are on no channels at all, but people who prep in other places because um, I feel like we're facing the future kind of with our arms linked together, moving forward with faith in God that we will be able to prevail and strengthen each other and you know, love one another as I have loved you. I guess it's the real crux of the whole thing that we will love each other as Christ loves us and be able to um, be of good cheer. So I kind of I kind of practice smiling. I know when I talk on the phone with my friends I know I'm smiling even though I'm not looking at myself but I kind of practice smiling because um, it tends to lighten the atmosphere a little bit. So those things are uh, crucial to me. They're very important to me to have my arms linked together with those that love the Lord so that um, we can draw strength from each other. So I don't feel alone. I really don't feel alone. Not at all. Um, I have had the consistent support of you know a number of people over the period of decades and it's been uh, my mother passed away it's been just over two years ago and uh, she was always she was always a strength and a comfort to me through all of my life but when it came time that you know her body was just completely worn out by the time she was 89 and a half she was just she was still joking with the best of them she was making all the people in the nursing facility facilities laugh on a regular basis she was more of a hoot than I ever realized I guess and but um, when it came time to part, and I, my health was in really bad condition at the time that she died, and the last while before that, but when it came time for her to go, there just was absolutely no sadness at all. I just never, no sadness at the funeral, no sadness at the cemetery. There just was no sadness because we had that link. We had that bond together with the Savior that... Um, just was um, it superseded the sorrow of death. It was like death had no sting because uh, I knew where she was going. I knew she'd be well cared for and there wasn't any um, cause for alarm or concern at all. And I really haven't missed her. I mean, I think twice I might have had the urge to call her, but um, she's just a, a phenomenal lady and I always felt like it was my obligation to try to pass on the love and the kindness and the understanding and the goodness and the um, unselfishness that my mom showed to me. So that was a really cool thing. But um, I guess I guess that was probably all I really wanted to say, although it didn't come out exactly like I wanted it to. Um, I, uh, I value so much the strength that I received from there have been so many people who have written nice things to me, comments to me here on the channel, which has been really great. Um, you usually get the best 10 or, 15, 10 or 15 minutes of my day by the time I'm showered and put together and presentable. You usually get about the best 15 minutes of my day. But people have been really, really kind, and I appreciate, appreciate that greatly. And it seems to me that... Um, seems to me that God has really brought together for me people in my life that um, have just been enjoying a blessing and it's been so wonderful to be able to just um, you know spread the good cheer and spread the kindness and spread the jokes and I joke about things I probably shouldn't really joke about but um, we've had a steady stream of people in and out of the house, which is why the 35 year old carpet, I don't know how old it is, but it's really old carpet and still on the floor. The kids will come in and take their shoes off and I'm like, no, don't take your shoes off. You get your socks dirty. But um, it's just, the whole thing is just a magnificent blessing. So I feel, feel that we've been, all of us in our lives have been brought to the point and the place and the, you know, the time, the location um, that we're in for a reason and a purpose and that it's part of our um, citizenship kind of in the kingdom of God to be able to reach out to others and love them like we love ourselves 
and that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to love other people more than you love yourself, I don't think. Uh, but we should try to treat them the way we do unto others, you know, as we would have others do unto us, kind of thing. So, I probably said a whole bunch of nothing that took 10 minutes, but my great treasure in this life is the people who have treated me the way I, I feel the love of Jesus Christ in the friendships that I have. And there was one friend in particular that I really didn't know very well in the beginning and she didn't know very many people in my area. And we had met at somebody else's house for a little, a little function. And when I got ready to go, she told me that she loved me. And so we have joked about it since then because she said, said some things, well, you did this and you did this. I said, well, I, I had to. You told me you loved me. So I just really have been um, very thankful. And that's 11 minutes. <laughs> There's so much I wanted to say, and it's just not coming out exactly the way I wanted it to, but how thankful I am for that blessing. So be thankful for the people around you. And if you don't have the support you're looking for, um, if you don't feel that you if you don't feel that you're abundantly supplied with with uh, with that uh, I guess Friendship in Christ is the only thing I can think of to talk to name, and I don't know what else to call it. But if you don't feel that you have that support, I would just ask for it in your prayers and keep looking until you find the kind of support that you need to get you through those times. Um, you uh, you certainly have a fine group of people I think who are signed up on this channel. There are just some amazing people that are signed up for, for that make comments and are very, very valuable. And so I'm thankful for every single one of you that have signed up to to share. And um, I hope you, that you will get something out of the videos. And I will say one more time, I've dragged this out way, way, way too long. But I will say again that the majority of the basic information is in the first six months of these videos. So if you what you might want to do if you're looking for the basic information is uh, get on the page that has 400 videos or whatever and then go back to the very beginning, the earliest videos, the first six months, and you'll find probably what you're looking for there. So I'm a lucky person. Very thankful. And there's other things I'm trying to say, but they're just not coming out. So I guess I'll give up for tonight. God bless you in every way and bless yours. And Make a list and check it twice so you can eat more than just beans and just rice. But also every thing that you put on the shelf will make a difference. Every single item that you put on the shelf will make a difference. So do what you can do and pray for the doors to open. And if you have, a, you know, two of something, sell one <laughs> and use the money for storage. So I'm done. That's enough. Take care. God bless. Bye.